हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अमित बुडवा फ्रॉम आरजी कॉर मेडिकल कॉलेज कोलकाता सो वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट द एनाटॉमी द डेवलपमेंट द नर्व सप्लाई एंड द डिजीजेस ऑफ द टिम्पेनिक मेम्ब्रेन द रेस्ट ऑफ द सर्जिकल पोर्शन लाइक द माइरिंगोपैस्टी माइरिंगोटॉमी विल बी डिस्कस्ड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियोस so watch the video till end and for more updates subscribe the artistic world. Now come to the academic portion. Tympanic membrane. It forms the partition between the external acoustic canal and the middle ear. It is said obliquely. It is almost 9 to 10 mm tall, 8 to 9 mm wide and 0.1 mm thick. The tympanic membrane can be divided into two parts. Pars tensa and pars flaccida. The thickened peripheral portion of the pars tensa is called annulus tympanicus the central part of the pars tensa at the level of the tip of the malleus is called umbo see the cone of light in the anterior inferior quadrant appreciate the anterior and posterior medial fold now see the layers of the membrane tympanic membrane consists of three layers outer epithelial layer inner mucosal layer and the medial fibrous layer Tympanic membrane is supplied by three nerves auriculotemporal nerve auricular branch of vagus nerve and jacobson's nerve the anterior half of the lateral surface is supplied by auriculotemporal nerve the posterior half of the lateral surface is supplied by auricular branch of vagus and the whole medial surface is supplied by jacobson's nerve it develops from all three germinal layers outer epithelial layer from the ectoderm inner mucosal layer from endoderm and the medial fibrous layer from the mesoderm normal tympanic membrane is shiny and pearly gray the umbo and the bright cone of light can be appreciated the attic area lies above the lateral process of malleus and it is slightly pinkish Now come to the diseases of the tympanic membrane. Retracted tympanic membrane. It appears dull. See the cone of light is absent. The handle of malleus appears foreshortened. It results due to negative intratympanic pressure due to the blockage of eustachian tube. Myringitis bullosa. It is painful condition. The hemorrhagic blebs can be seen on the tympanic membrane. Probably it is caused due to mycoplasma pneumonia. Herpes zoster oticus forms due to infection involving the geniculate ganglion of the facial nerve. Vesicles is seen on the tympanic membrane, dipneatus, concha, and retroauricular sulcus. Myringitis granulosa. Granulations form on the outer surface of the tympanic membrane may be associated with the impacted wax long standing foreign body or external ear infection the tympanic membrane may rupture due to trauma the treatment consists of repositioning of the edges and it is splinted in case of deep injury urgent exploration may be required retraction pockets and atelectasis a segment or the entire membrane may collapse inwards due to eustachian tube 
insufficiency. It may form a retraction pocket or get plastered onto the promontory and also wrap the ossicles. Cholestatoma may form from deep retraction pocket. Tympanosclerosis may occur due to hyalinization and later calcification of the fibrous layer. It mostly remain asymptomatic. Perforations, the surgical portions will be discussed in the later videos.